Okay. I just wanted to do a quick video about how libertarianism is a satanic cult by Gary DeFord. So really, I was talking to one of my friends, uh, and he's just like a, a he's just an insane egoist. It's just the, like the amount of freaking ego and people, and he's actually he was born uh, Islamic and converted to Christianity, to evangelical, to far right evangelical Christianity, right? So, why do I, why does Garrett of Four think that evangelical Christianity and libertarianism together is a like a satanic cult and that the American, uh, you know, conservative movement that contains Trump too is basically the philosophy of Satanism. Mm -hmm. ah, why is that? I mean, I think it's quite simple. To me, it's just like I can totally, I'm trying to think of like the way to break this down. Okay. What's the point of evangelical Christianity? It's the ultimate ego, ego reward for being, you know, you're on the inside. And because you've said the magic words, I believe in this particular Jesus the God. I mean, I don't want to be like Mr. Atheist video, but come on. I'm certainly an anti, I guess I'm, whatever. Um, I'm not really an atheist, but anyways, this, I'm going to talk about in particular, this form of, which I've had another friend too, who's just totally taken up in it. Cause it is like, a, it's a cult and it's, uh, and it's kept going by in, in the same way. Like it's Scientology is kept going through, uh, financial contributions and, uh, 501c3, like that Scientology literally, literally is this money extracting, uh, just monstrous uh, human rights abusing organization within, you could say the same thing about the Mormon church, the Catholic church. Uh, so these churches are horrible. But anyways, why is libertarianism? Why am I saying they are in particular, you know, they're, well, they're related to it because it's the Ayn Rand, obviously it's the Ayn Rand objectivism of like this, this is the, she wrote early on in her career about the ideal man being someone who actually just took a girl, I think she was 12 years old, took her, and he carved her up into many pieces, pieced her back together, and brought her dad out to get a ransom, and then pushed her out, pushed the severed limbs and the rest of the, I'm sure most of the carcass and probably some was missing, but, so that's the type of person that Ayn Rand says, and this is like Paul Ryan uh, has this supposed philosophy and he's supposedly a Christian. This is Christianity. This is modern right-wing Christianity. This is what they believe, that they will be in glory with God. They'll have like, they'll take all the money because that's like somehow it's immoral if you give money to the, I would just say this is, Obviously, I don't even know what I'm talking about. This is just like, who can get the basics that this is like, has nothing to do with uh, certainly Christianity, certain libertarianism is not what was traditionally thought of Christianity. Because of course, Jesus would be like, uh, you know, what's the basic point of Jesus is that like uh, God sent his son, right? To, uh, what is the point of the, he said the Messiah, the Messiah, to, uh, which was promised in uh, Judaism to save man from what? I don't know anything he really saved man. No, he saved man from death, right? I mean, that's a basic. And also like the poor, he was like very, uh, I mean, you could go, you should study the Bible because like, you know, and actually I found when I looked into the book of John, which they love the evangelicals, that's the most ridiculous uh, book in the Bible. I mean, you know, of the four gospels as far as i'm concerned because there's nothing to do with morality and everything to, has to do with uh jesus being a superstar part of a deity you know and of course it was like many years after so it's, there's nothing to do with really anybody you know it's just like it's obviously uh it's a fake cult and it's gone on and it's like money has kept it's go it kept it going so in some ways that's like you know it's easier to get people to unite around bullshit than reality and of course, the first thing a cult tells you is that everyone else is lying, you know, and that's like, 
I mean, if that's the, I mean, that's a simple definition, but I think that's, uh, you know, that's got to be true because, you know, just as no, I'm sure like they have versions of the Christianity, which like I would probably more agree with the Quakers. We live in uh, Whittier here. So, you know, that's more of a, anyways, I think I've said my basic piece, but I mean, I'd love to have people's response. You know, if you don't think it's like, if you don't understand my point, I'll just restate the point very clearly that uh, obviously just, you know, it's not about, I just don't understand how it could even be considered. It doesn't make it just, in, in fact, it is. That's why I could say it's literally Satanism because what did, okay, Satan want? Who was Satan? It was a guy, which I don't know that much about. I'm just like repeating, uh, because I just know the story, and I don't even know if this, this must be in the Bible, right? That's Paul, or I don't know. But Jesus wanted to, uh, he was like a rival or something, and he wanted to like take over heaven or something, Satan, I mean, right? And then uh, he wanted to be a god. Now, and he had just the ego, he thought he could be God. But obviously, it's just Satan, so it's like, no, nah, not happening. I'm God, you're Satan, uh, well, you know, but Satan somehow he has like some kind of supernatural power. So like God is like all powerful, but there's also a guy named Satan. So what does Satan want? You know, he wants to be basically God and live in heaven and and well, I guess that's not exactly what the evangelical Christians want because they want, but they don't want uh it's the ego though. I mean <laughs> That's enough. I mean, maybe I can't close, close the loop, but there's nothing to close because it just makes the whole thing makes obviously no sense whatsoever. Please comment. Please like, comment, and subscribe.